Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to create QR codes on your Mac. Now, since I last talked about making QR codes on your Mac, Apple's actually updated the shortcut action that does this to give you more options. So let's take a look. So you can create QR codes on your Mac using the Shortcuts app. I'm going to create a new shortcut here by clicking the plus button, and I'm going to give it a title. Now, creating QR codes in shortcuts means that you could do it completely on your Mac. You're not using any website service, and you're getting a QR code that goes directly to the URL, not going through some other site. So it's a good way to do it, and it's really easy to do once you have it set up. The first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to get the location of the current web page at Safari. So whatever Safari is showing right now. So I'm going to look for current URL and there's get current web page from Safari. I'll just double click on that to add it. Now, really the only other step that's needed is the create QR code action. I'm going to double click on that and add it here. And it's going to create a QR code for this web page. Now, to make sure there's no confusion, instead of just leaving this as web page, I'm going to click on it once, just single click, not control click or right click or anything like that. And I can pick a property of the web page, in this case, the page URL. So now it's clear what it's making the QR code from. Now, this will work just as it is. If I look at Safari here, I'm at the MacMost homepage. So now, if I were to run the shortcut, it creates a QR code that would take people to MacMost.com. But What's new here are a lot of really cool options. So the first two are the colors. So you've got the foreground color, in this case, the parts you see here that are black, and the background color, in this case, the parts you see that are white. So if I wanted to make this a little more colorful, maybe make it kind of a dark red that Mac most uses, I can choose that as the background color there. And when I run this, you could see I get that. And I can choose the same for a foreground color. Maybe I could even make the foreground color white like that. So you can play around with those colors. You could also choose the rounded look. You notice these are all squares, but if I choose rounded and then run it, then I get these dots and little rounded squares in the corners. But also you can choose error correction. Now you may think this is just a way to make more robust QR codes. And that's what it is. The difference between low and medium is that low error correction means that if, say, the piece of paper it's printed on is partially ripped or it's wrinkled or maybe there's poor lighting conditions, that it's less likely to be able to get the URL, whereas medium is a little bit better. And you also have these other options, quartile and high. So if we do quartile, we get a QR code that looks like that. And if we do high, we get a QR code that looks like that, that has this square in the middle of it. And the thing about the square in the middle of it is people like to put images in there, like logos or some text or whatever. So you could take this graphic here, you can control click on it and quick look it. And from here, you can open and preview, you could share it or something else, or you could simply put a copy to clipboard action here at the end. And now when this runs, it still runs, it gives you the output here at shortcuts, but this has also been copied to the clipboard. So like now in pages, if I'm making a sign, I could just command V to paste and it pastes it in and I can resize it like I want. If you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost through Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. And then here in pages, I can maybe put an image here over the center part. Or if I'm bringing it into a graphics app like Pixelmator Pro or Photoshop, I can work on whatever I want to be in the middle. But it's actually not that hard to do that in shortcuts as well. You could just have the shortcut add the graphic. It's actually fairly simple because there is an action for that. So look for overlay and you've got overlay image. Just add this to the end. Actually, I'm gonna add it before it copies it to the clipboard. And now it's gonna take an image. So what I wanna do is I wanna get a file and I'll use the file action here and I have to assign a file. I actually have put a simple square small graphic with a logo here as a file. So now I can actually click here and then go to the desktop and select that. So now it gets that. Now it's gonna overlay the file on and then I'll control click, right click or two finger click on this and change this to QR code. So it's important to make sure you have these right. It's going to take the file from here 
and overlay that on top of the QR code from here. Now there's some options for overlay right here. It's show image editor, which will allow you to actually adjust the image. So I'll run this and you can see I've got one overlaid on the other. I can grab it, drag it around and position it where I want. I can set the opacity, but none of that's really going to get me what I want. So instead, I'm going to turn off show image editor and I'm going to set everything manually. So I'm going to do center first. When I do that, the output is going to center it and it's going to look fine, except that it's going to take up too much space. So I'm going to give it a width and height. You just have to use trial and error with this. You only need to give it a width because the height will automatically be calculated. And it turns out after working with it for a bit, 320 works pretty well. If it didn't, I would just adjust this number up or down until I got something I liked. So now it creates the QR code and it puts this file overlaid on top of it and copies that to the clipboard. So if I were to want to paste it in now, you could see I get that image. So now, for instance, I could use this as a way to create QR codes to link to different web pages at MacMost, and it would always have the MacMost logo in there. Now you can do other things with QR codes besides just a URL to a website. If you go to the gallery for shortcuts and you search for QR code, for some reason, this doesn't come up if you just search for QR or make QR, but QR code seems to bring up this shortcut here. You can click on that and then you can click here to actually preview it before you add it. And in here, it's got the code for making other types of QR codes, like ones with phone numbers or email addresses, contacts, uh, events, all sorts of things. So you can kind of raid this shortcut for code that will allow you to make other kinds of QR codes. Or you could just add the shortcut, but this shortcut here doesn't actually have any of those new features in the part where it creates a QR code. So you could go in here and customize that for something you like and even add that part where it adds your logo in the middle. Now, if you try to use this on an iPhone, you're going to run into trouble. Notice that the very first action, get current web page from Safari, only works on Mac. But you're just using that to get the URL. So you can get rid of this pretty easily. And then you could simply add an input here. I'm going to ask for input and then ask for text and then put the prompt there, like paste the URL here and then tap where it says web page here and just have the results of ask for input go into that. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be to go to the details for the shortcut here and say you want it shown in the share sheet like that. And that will then take input from the share sheet and it could receive just simply URLs like that. And then this could change to be the shortcut input. So now the idea is you can be in Safari here, tap the three dots and then share and then pick from the list of available shortcuts, create QR code from current Safari page, and you'll give it permission the first time, and then it will copy that to the clipboard, and then you can paste it into whatever you want. Here, I'm just gonna paste it into notes so you could see it. So the shortcut's going to look a little bit different here if you want it to work on the iPhone or iPad, but you could then use this same shortcut on the Mac. You just have to use it by sharing out the URL and triggering the shortcut instead of the much easier just running it any way you like on the Mac. So this makes it super easy to make good looking QR codes without having to rely on some site or service. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.